public sector industries which are controlled managed by the government and its agencies government and its agencies are known as the public sector industries these are known as the public sector industries which are controlled managed by the government and its agencies government through the agencies for the social welfare of a people when a industries are managed by it industries managed by the government and their agencies are known as the public sector agents industries example example sail steel authority of india bhil bharat heavy electricals limited bharat heavy electricals limited second private sector industries those industries which are controlled managed by the individuals or a group of individuals individuals or group of individuals these industries are work for the earning profits to earn profits to earn profits as the private sector industries like as airtel like godrej tesco etc third joint sector industries which are collectively managed by the public and the private sector industries for a socio economic welfare of people socio economic welfare of the population of a country such industries are known as a joint sector now the fourth category fourth type cooperative sector industries cooperative cooperative sector industries those industries those industries which are work for the mutual benefits mutual benefits of mutual benefits of rural economy mutual benefits of rural people those industries which are work for the mutual benefits of people mutual benefits of people these industries are collectively managed by the group of individuals industries collectively managed by the group of individuals in rural economy in a rural economy to increase the pace of to increase the pace of development and eradicate poverty cooperative sector industries are those industries which are work on mutual benefits mutual benefits in rural areas mutual benefits in rural areas in these industries classification of industries bachche on the basis of ownership cooperative sector industries cooperative sector cooperative sector cooperative so cooperative sector industries which are work which are managed by the individuals sorry group of individuals a group of individuals in rural economy to support economic development and eradicate poverty eradicate to remove the poverty in a rural areas for which as a industries which are work industries work are known as the industries work are known as the cooperative sector industries example amul started in a form of a cooperative industry in somewhere in a gujarat where the rural women collected as a milk and supplied towards the adjoining villages adjoining villages same as a principle followed under the verka milk collected from a different areas processed in a in their milk plants and afterwards as a pasteurized milk given to the people in a different localities different localities such kind of a diversified forms of the milk products which are given on a basic yes i am again as repeating cooperative sector industries are those industries which are collectively managed by the group of individuals in rural economy for achieving their developmental goals to eradicate the policy uh, poverty to eradicate poverty for which as a when industries are developed in a rural economies example amul amul 
शुगर कोऑपरेटिव ऑफ सदर्न इंडिया शुगर शुगर मिल्स ऑफ सदर्न इंडिया शुगर मिल्स ऑफ सदर्न इंडिया सेकेंड अमूल अमूल वेरका मदर डेयरी एटसेट्रा क्लियर वेरका मदर डेयरी एटसेट्रा नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज बेस्ड ऑन अ सोर्स ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल सोर्स ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल सोर्स ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज आर एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रीज दो इंडस्ट्रीज विच डायरेक्टली ऑप्टेन डियर रॉ मटीरियल विच आर डायरेक्टली ऑप्टेन डियर रॉ मटीरियल फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर आर नोन एज एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज सच इंडस्ट्रीज आर नोन एज एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज such group of industries which are obtain their raw material directly from agriculture like sugar industries jute industries cotton textiles cotton textiles these industries are directly obtaining their raw material from the agricultural practices sugar cane producing in a sugar cane producing through the agriculture through the cultivation use as a raw material in a sugar mills sugar mills cotton textiles jute industries etc clear first are the agro based industries next mineral based industries mineral based industries mineral based industries industries which obtain their raw material from minerals from mining processes those industries which are directly obtain their raw material from mining processes are known as a mineral based industries example oil refineries oil refineries oil refineries iron and steel industries aluminum smelting aluminum smelting iron and steel industries oil refineries etc etc clear third type as forest based industries industries which complete their which obtain their raw material from the forest produce obtain their raw material from the forest produce example furniture timber industries timber t i m b e r timber industries timber industries timber industries paper paper industries medicinal herbs medicinal herbs timber paper they obtain their raw material from the forest produce forests they obtain their raw material from forests next marine based industries marine based industries marine based industries industries obtain their yes rishit wood wood obtained from the forest wood is not the industry wood is a raw material used in a timber industry wood pulp used for a manufacturing of a paper manufacturing of paper so marine based industries industries which are completing their raw material from a sea and oceans sea and oceans industries which are completing their need of raw material from sea and oceans example manufacturing of salt manufacturing of salt second cod liver oil c o r d cod liver oil cod liver oil cod liver oil 
fisheries fisheries etc etc last are the pastoral based industries pastoral based industries pastoral based industries industries which are completing their need of a raw material which are completing their need of raw material need of raw material from animals they are obtaining their raw material from animals from animals example leather examples leather leather dairy leather dairy leather and dairy industries dairy products are obtaining from the milk which has obtained from the animals dairy and leather clear on the basis of a source of material there are five industries are there agro based industries mineral based industries mineral based industries mineral based industries forest yes wool also thank you disha wool wool and textiles are manufacture which are obtaining from the animals wool and industries wool dairy and leather wool dairy and leather materials which are obtaining from the animals are pastoral based industries and marine based are those industries which are obtaining industries obtain their raw material industries obtain their raw material from sea and ocean like cod liver oil manufacturing of salt etc manufacturing of salt etc manufacturing of salt etc clear clear next classification of industries based on a weight classification of industries yes devyansh sir ek bar ek example bata do mineral sugar industries jaggery formation manufacturing of a jaggery manufacturing of a jaggery sugar cotton textiles cotton textiles in a agro mineral base as a oil refineries oil refineries oil refineries where the crude oil this impurities are separated and uh, different by products are extracted like as a petrol diesel kerosene petrol diesel grease lubricants are extracted oil refineries second as a iron and steel industries aluminium smelting aluminium copper smelting aluminium smelting manufacturing of copper copper products electrical appliances electrical appliances etc electrical appliances so next category fourth classification of a industries based on a weight of raw material weight of raw material weight of raw material weight of raw material yes jasleen silk can categorize under the pastoral base rishit meat can also included under the pastoral meat beef okay next on the basis of a weight of a raw material heavy industries heavy industries yes ayush goel so on the basis of a weight of a raw material there are two types of industries are there heavy industries and lightweight industries heavy industries industries which are use raw material in a larger quantities which are used the raw material in a larger quantities and such raw material in a bulky in nature heavier and bulky in nature are known as a such industries are known as a heavier industries heavy industries these industries are 
need the raw material in a larger quantities which is heavy in weight which is heavy in weight these industries are known as a heavy weight industries example iron and steel example iron and steel industries cement industries petrochemicals 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 iron and steel industries cement industries are categorized under the heavy industries they needs the raw material in a larger quantities larger quantities and bulky in nature bulky in nature as per the one average from a 100 kg of a iron ore only as a 40% 40 to 50 percentage of the iron it can be as a extract remaining as a 50 60% as the wastage which is as a mixture of a rocks and a other materials which can't be as a utilized for it so due to as a bulky in nature such industries are located nearer to the sources of raw material iron and steel industries petrochemical industries cement industries are the examples of a heavy weight industries these are the examples of heavy weight industries heavy weight industries clear next second light weight industries industries which are require raw material light in weight and smaller in quantity industries which require the raw material smaller in quantities which is light in weight are known as the they are known as the these industries are known as the light weight industries light weight industries light weight these industries are also known as a footloose industries pay attention industries are also known as a footloose industries footloose means it can be as a located at any part of a country they are not affected by the locational factors locational geographical factors are neither influence the growth of a such industries it can be located at any part of a country due to as a light in weight raw material such material can transport as easily for a distant lands also foot loose industries foot loose industries for example rand kala cosmetics 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 are manufactured in a smaller in quantities cosmetics example manufacturing of cosmetics second pharmaceuticals medicines pharmaceuticals manufacturing of medicines pharmaceuticals it can be as a locate at any part of a country because of the light in weight and a smaller in quantities of their raw material it can transport it for a longer distances also longer distance uh, distances we can't categorize the iron and steel in this category the reason as a movement of a goods if the movement of the goods from the far away towards the industrial sites it will increase the cost of production so iron and steel are categorized under the heavy industries which are located nearer to the source of raw material whereas the lightweight industries as a pharmaceuticals medicines require the raw material in a smaller in quantities and light in weight which can be as a easily transported through the means of transport means of transport clear lightweight industries now the last classification of industries based on their role on the basis of the role of industries on the basis of rule of industries rule of industries two types of industries are there basic industries and consumer goods industries first basic industries basic industries are also known as a key industries basic industries are also known as a key industries k e y k e y such industries which are supportive for a growth in economy which are supportive for growth in economy industries which are supportive for growth in economy 
growth in economy and development of other number of industries development of other industries development of other industries example iron and steel iron and steel industries their goods are used for a setting up the infrastructure building the building of building of infrastructure second as manufacturing of machines needs as a iron iron and steel industries are a basic industries second petrochemical industries petrochemical industries their products are used in a petrochemical their products are used in a fertilizers their products are used in a fertilizers for manufacturing of fertilizers lubricants paints etc so petrochemical industries which is also known as a noodle industry petrochemical industries iron and steel industries are the examples of a, these are the examples of a basic industries third as aluminium aluminium smelting aluminium smelting that aluminium used as a raw material in a aeronautics in a aeroplanes aluminium used as a raw material in a aeroplanes in kitchen utensils in, for domestic purposes as the doorways and the windows are manufactured with the help of a aluminium yes divyansh yes divyansh bad aluminium smelting basic industry aluminium aluminium is a raw material used in a aeronautics aeroplanes aeroplanes kitchen utensils kitchen utensils electrical wires doors windows doors windows wires and aeroplanes because of its light in weight light in weight it is also used in a electrical wires also high tension wires for which as aluminium has used aluminium used clear next next are the consumer goods industries consumer goods industries consumer goods so those industries which are manufacture such goods which can directly consumed by consumers which can directly consumed by consumers so these products are ready to consumed by the consumers ready to consume by the consumers ready to consume by the consumers chirag bakery manufacturing of a bread in a bakery it can be as a directly consumed by the consumers biscuit stationary items it can be as a directly used by the consumers it not require as a refinement clear bakeries confectioneries amrit pal singh confectionery okay stationery stationery items confectionery which can be as a directly consumed by the consumers directly consumed by the consumers etc so these are the major classification of the industries we discuss as the five on the basis of a scale there are three types of industries are there cottage industries the household industries small scale industries which are manufacturing as a uh, manufacturing as a technical products with the help of a skilled workforce and the large scale industries as the products are manufactured at a larger in number which are exporting towards the other nations of the world second category as a classification on this industries on the basis of ownership public sector industries controlled by government private sector industries those are controlled by the individual or a group of individuals for a well, uh, for the profits joint sector industries which are collectively managed by the private and the public sector firms which are work for a socio economic benefits and fourth are the cooperative sector industries industries which are collectively managed by the group of people in a rural economies next as classification of industries based on raw material 
source of raw material agro based industries obtaining the raw material from agriculture like sugar industry mineral based industries which are completing their need of a raw material from minerals through the mining processes as iron and steel industries iron smelting centers third as of forest based industries those industries which are obtaining their raw material from a forest like paper and wood fourth as a pastoral based industries which are complete which are obtaining their raw material from animals like wool wool silk meat these are pastoral leather are the pastoral based industries and marine based industries which are obtaining their raw material from sea and oceans like cod liver oil manufacturing of manufacturing of salt fourth classification of a industries based on a so based on their weight of a raw material the heavy industries iron and steel industries which require the raw material larger in quantities thermal power stations are also categorized under it larger in quantities and bulky in nature lightweight industries which are required the raw material smaller in quantities and light in nature light weight in nature example pharmaceuticals cosmetics parvi cosmetics next as a classification of industries based on a their role in economy basic industries which are supportive for the growth in a other sectors other industries are the basic industries like iron and steel industries and second as the uh, consumer goods industries industries which are providing as a goods which can directly consumed by consumers like stationery amrit pal singh so next tell there any questions any questions yes tanya sir heavy weight industries ki location bata do those industries which needs as a raw material raw material in a larger in quantities and heavier in nature the nature of a raw material is a heavy example as a iron and steel which is supportive for a growth which is as supportive for the growth in economy for construction purposes we need as a iron for the setting up the machines we need as a iron for the manufacturing of a vehicles mehul vehicles automobiles we need as a iron clear iron and steel industries as the iron and steel industries as the basic industries second as aluminium industries are also the example of a basic industries through the aluminium products smelting of a bauxite through which we extract as a alumina which later in stage transform into the aluminium such aluminium used in aeronautics for manufacturing of a kitchen utensils for electrical appliances for windows doors for which as a we need the aluminium we need aluminium clear now this is as just beginning of a chapter now as a case studies marked in our book as first agro based industries agro based industries there are some of the case studies are there i think as a cotton textiles is there jute industries cotton textiles jute industries and a sugar industries sugar industries so what kind of the conditions are responsible for a growth of a such industries in a different parts of our country then afterwards they will be as a mineral based industries let's start from the first agro based industries industries which are obtaining their raw material from a agriculture agriculture example vegetable oils vegetable oils sugar cotton textiles jute industries jute industries are the examples of agro based industries in which the first as a cotton textiles cotton textiles cotton textiles in our country basically they work through the decentralization decentralization these are concentrated towards the western parts of a country in gujarat maharashtra most number of a cotton textiles are concentrated in a gujarat maharashtra and parts of a tamil nadu parts of tamil nadu parts of tamil nadu these cotton textiles are decentralized by the decentralized by the government and private sector companies there is not as all these industries managed by the government there is as the government sector side by side as a private companies are responsible for a manufacturing of a clothes the cotton textile managed by collectively as separate firms of a government and the private companies 
प्राइवेट कंपनीज बाय द प्राइवेट कंपनीज द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ अ कॉटन टेक्सटाइल्स कॉटन टेक्सटाइल्स आर वर्क थ्रू द थ्री सिस्टम्स इन आर कंट्री थ्री सिस्टम्स मिल सिस्टम मिल सेक्टर मिल सेक्टर पावरलूम इंडस्ट्रीज पावरलूम इंडस्ट्रीज एंड हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्रीज हैंडलूम हैंडलूम से क्लियर हो गया होगा खादी जो खदर के कपड़े बन रहे थे खादी भंडार उद्योग एज मैनेज अंडर एज ए हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्री मिल सेक्टर इंडिकेट्स एज द मिल सेक्टर मैनेज द डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज एसोसिएटेड विद द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ अ कॉटन क्लोथ्स कॉटन क्लोथ्स दोज एक्टिविटीज दोज प्रोसेस विच आर रिक्वायर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ रॉ कॉटन इन टू एज द कॉटन क्लोथ्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज ए गिनिंग स्पिनिंग weaving dyeing then afterwards as a cutting stitching so all these are the manufacturing stages these are separately managed by the mill sector separately managed by mill sector ek mill ke andar ginning ka kaam hoga yes divyansh sir ye teenon kiske andar aate hain mill sector aur power these are the processes through which these are the processes through which the cotton textiles function in our country cotton textiles for example there is as a one mill is there which will only responsible for ginning pup practice it will purchase as a cotton from the raw cotton from the farmers then separate the cotton seeds from a cotton balls their work finished then it will be giving their product whatever the product is there it will be given to the other industry other mill other mill next mill it will be used the cotton balls for transform into the yarn थ्रेड थ्रेड बनाया जाएगा उसका और कोई काम नहीं है देन इट विल बी सेलिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट टू वर्ड्स द वीविंग सेक्टर वीविंग मिल क्लियर सो मिल सेक्टर के अंदर काम हो रहा है